Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and uh, I was initially thinking of doing like a parallel live stream but since I do not have much, uh, a lot to do, um, so I thought of like just doing this in the, in the span of a video. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a little bit of a long video but today it's going to, we are going to make our second attempt at the moon tower boss, the moon flower tower boss, right? We're going to go against uh what was the name sakura uh whoever it is at the sakura shrine we made we made an initial attempt at the boss uh in a live stream previously and we failed miserably oh my goodness She's just chopping through them. Jeez, this woman's crazy. I believe because apparently uh, the usual strat that I use where we put a pal, where we attack side by side with the pal, like I've done with all the other bosses did not work out. For um, some reason, this level 55 boss uh, is super hard. Uh, so the boss Sakura, she has a... Uh, what is that new pal? The new moon pal? Uh, this one, it has a, she has a Selene, a level 55 Selene. And they, she it quacks, it packs quite a punch, right? I, I died miserably. So... Here we are changing up our strat a little bit um, and we're going to make a second go at it, right? So I've never had to use my gob... The last time I used this kind of a strat where I had my gob fins to boost my attack power in such a manner and have a chill it for dragon was uh, during the Bellanor Libero raid fight, right? When I last did the Bellanor Libero. This is when I last had to use something like this. So I'm going to use this again. I think this is... I'm not sure if this is actually possible um, for solo players, those who are playing on single player instances. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I've seen a few people do it, but they've uh, had modified world settings, like, you know, increase attack damage and you know, things like that. So we are normal settings, right? So so I'm, I'm still not sure whether this is going to work. So what we have here is a level three uh, Chillet, um, a level two, Gobfin and then three level five uh, Gobfins as well. So that that's going to round up uh, attack to about 282. So that's about 25% um, increase in uh, 25 plus 71% increase in attack power. Uh, we have some Mozarina burgers as well, which should be consuming on the way. So that's going to increase our attack power more. We have the new pals. Uh, a new pal steel armor i got the lightweight one and the pal steel helmet i have the legendary level 4 version to build this but i do sadly i do not have enough oil to make more pal steel to make all the, all of this right uh, we have the laser rifle we have a level 4 rocket launcher this is by far the highest attack damage weapon we have and we have a level 4 we can actually build a level 4 razor rifle as well but sadly once again we do we just do not have enough oil to make pal steel to make all these awesome weapons right so we're pretty much ready and on a side note i'm preparing to i'm doing prep work to do my um let me just pick up these rockets again i'm doing prep work for the blaze mud ryu um raid boss as well because i still not have attempt with that I've seen people do it in a few videos. It looks super hard. So I do not want to like, rush right into it. So we have the slab for it. So as you can see, it says it's going to summon a level 55. The The regular Bellanor was a level 30. The Libero was a level 50. So the Libero, I, I still have, I did not even want to look at the Ultron because like, uh, I'm going to do this like much later, right? I didn't want to look at it just yet um so yeah i mean um the the libero which is super hard 
is level 50 so i'm guessing the ryu is going to be as much harder than this i've seen a few videos so it does the exact same thing as the libero it starts off as actually this time it starts off as a fire dragon type blaze mud and then midway it switches into an electric type so we need to we need to pack up three different types of pals for this this upcoming raid boss right i'll be doing a separate video on this once i have proper prep work done but this is going to be super hard um so the one thing i have changed in my world settings is that my base has a 50 pal limit i want to make the most of it because it's much more fun this way to have so much pals working in your base uh, so much things can be done quickly so i do have that advantage going into this but still from what i've seen pals die just like that so we need to do a lot of prep work so he's a dragon and a fire type uh, from the start so we can target the dragon weakness go with ice types but the fire typing is going to come a little bit uh uneasy first it's going to come it's going to knock knock a lot i know like the obvious case is to use frost talents but i think german tide is the way to go for this and then following up when he turns electric and the german tides turn useless um at that point we're going to have to go with all ground types right um either the um anubis or the new knockum pals so the plan is we start off the battle with um a bunch of frost Italians. as you can see i'm starting i built up i'm building up an army of frost Italians, but this is going to be relatively useless but we'll see how it goes so a bunch of level 55s already i'm breeding them currently so i have a bunch of level ones as well and then i have some frost alien knocks as well i can just put them in there uh, might add up the jet dragons because we're going to need a lot of attack power eventually i'm going to run out of pals so i need to throw toss these guys in as well um and then what we need is okay here we go we have four knockums so far this is the follow-up like once it turns electric we have four knockums uh and then we have uh, we have like five oh like four 55 days moves i guess knockum is the best ground type uh combination of knockum and maybe um i don't know Anubis, is, it might work, I'm not sure. So we have a couple of German. Uh, we don't have that many German tides, right? I think we have two. We have two here, level 55, level 49, working in base. I have a second oil rig base. There, I have another German tide working there. So that's three in total. We need to build up more German tides. I'm, I'm breeding them at the moment as well. So, as you can see, a lot of prep work still needs to be done for the uh, blaze mud. But I think we are ready to take on the Moon Tower boss. So we can go ahead with that. So the idea is we have the Goblins to boost our attack. And I'm going to... S and <laughs> since it's weak to Dragon, I'm going to sit on the Chillet the entire time. Dodge using the Chillet. And attack using the Rocket. Rocket, Laser Rifle, whatever works. So that's what we're going to do. Where are my... Pa okay, my pals can't reach the breeding base, but they might be breeding. So as you can see, I have a lot of dragon eggs, the Jormatite eggs just breeding, as you can see. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep on with it. Hopefully this strat works because if it does not work, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, if this is meant to be properly, like if, if this cannot be done without tuning your world settings, absolutely it cannot be done. You need to do it, this on a dedicated server with multiplayer with more folks in your guild. Uh, in which case, I am going to maybe tune up the settings a little bit and then do it, but. Hopefully this works out like this should work out ideally because I mean if I can do the libero in this build and the libero and the libero build I didn't have this many goblins with attack for attack power boost buffs so it should be fine we should be all right um all right let's see are uh, the missile okay the rockets are done so we are currently sitting at uh 650 laser rifle ammo I have an assault rifle, shotgun. I'm gonna rely on the rocket launcher the most. Uh, let's get, let's get the burgers. We need the burger. It should be here in the fridge. All right, there's the burger. So that's gonna give us another twenty percent attack increase. So uh, we should be okay. I, I might be a bit too overpowered going into this. I'm not sure. 
because the, when I first tried it, I was doing okay damage. It's just that I couldn't sustain myself, right? My pal was dying, so um, this way I think what I need to do is I need to make sure I can dodge, 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 attack, dodge, 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 attack, dodge, dodge. You know, do do everything. It, like if I can control my pal at the same time, I can. I think I'm. Sh I should be okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I think we're ready. Uh, last minute item check. Okay, so I have two attack pendants. I can't find the attack pendant plus three. I couldn't even find another plus two. So we have two, uh, a plus one and a plus two attack pendant. And the last one, I'm just going to go with the defense pendant. Just just for the sake of it. I have an, an, an additionally attack pendant as well, but I, I already have the burger. So I, I don't think I need this. Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, I'll be honest. So... Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Here we go. Second attempt. Second attempt. That's the top of the tower. No, no, leave me alone. I don't... Uh, uh, uh. Dude, I don't have time to fight. Okay. That's... Uh... Okay, attack buff is up. Does eating more matter? No. Oh my goodness. Get in, get in. No, okay. I don't want to waste anything on that mutt. Here we go. Saya and Celine, that's her name. Why do they call her Sakura? Oh, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I just need to... I just need to make sure I live. Yeah, we're doing okay. Oh my goodness. Will we survive this? Oh shit. It doesn't even stun them, man. I'm dying. Oh my goodness. Dude, sustainment. How do you dodge? Dude, how do you dodge that? You can't even take cover behind a pillar. What do you do? Like, like seriously, like, what do you do exactly? 
I mean, damage wise, are doing okay. It's just that, like, uh... shit. You be drop her shit. Feels like I'd be dropped her shit. Oh boy. I mean, we can do this. It's possible. I can't live long enough. That's the problem. Dude, what's the answer? What's the answer? Dude, I need the chill it, man. Like, I need that chill it. Alright, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. We can do this. We can do this. How long is it going to take my chiller to recover? Oh, it's going to take 10 minutes. All right, we can do this. We can do this. I'm just going to skip this. Skip this recovery bit. Alrighty. <sighs> With some magic video editing and time skip, the chiller is recovered. Let's make a run for this again. Um, So close, but yet so far. <laughs> Dude, I don't get that moonbeam. That moonbeam is the one that is like effing everything up. Like, my attack is on point. I can't get anything done with the moonbeam. We're dropping the ball, we're dropping the ball. Please. Please no moonbeam. Please leave it like that.
Oh, we unlocked the new difficulty level. We can fight the hard mode for Bosses. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my legs are like all liquid and oh my goodness, I can't feel like, oh my god. Oh, I've never been so, dude, I, dude, Pal World has never stressed me out this much. Uh, like the last time I was this stressed out was during the Libero boss fight. And I, I expected raid boss to, raid bosses to like, I, I like, tower bosses never gave me this much shit, right? Like this much, like. Oh my goodness, I, it's so hard to describe it. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my goodness, like, oh, dude, like, dude, when the chiller died, I was super worried. Because, like, his speed was enough to outrun the moonbeam. And I was like, oh shit, if, if a second moonbeam came out of nowhere, like, I don't know what was the cooldown, but thank goodness, like, oh my goodness, dude, the cob fins. You know what? I'm gonna get, so I have one, two, three. I'm gonna get this guy to level five, and I'm gonna go, I'll be doing a lot of damage after that. Holy shit, what do we get from it? Did we get something? What do we get exactly? Oh, we got five technology points. All right, okay, okay fine. Five, five ancient technology points. Not that we need it. Oh my goodness, it's done. Tower bosses are complete. Huh. Oh. Holy shit. Dude, RPGs all the way, man. Dude, the reload. Like, I, a lot of people have told me, like, to use the guided missile launcher. But no, man. Like, I know the reload is less hectic in that. And a few times, like, the reload didn't come in clutch for me. But no, I would rather go for... I'm going for the raw damage. Like, I feel like I need that raw damage. My pals are injured here as well. Like, what the hell happened here? Uh, okay. Okay. Fracture, depressed, weaken. Okay. Let me just look into these guys. Let's put a little bit of stone. Move up these. Let's put a little bit of that. Okay. Mm. Let's put the chillet to recover. It's gonna take another 10 minutes, so yeah, this is gonna take a while. Uh, oh my goodness, it's done. It is done. It's done. So I'm curious as to what is hard mode now, like, like. I think the first one was a Gris Bolt, right? The very first Palbo, so... Let me just take the Knock'em. Where's the Knock'em? Just take one level 55 Knock'em. I might, I might regret this, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the very first... Okay, let, I want to see what hard mode is like. Like, The very first hard boss was like easy right i just cheese through it i want to see what is it like now that was the one right rain syndicate stun let me have another burger i might need a burger
No, wait. No. Which one is the hard mode? Like, it says hard mode unlocked. So which one is the hard mode? I don't know if this is hard mode or not. The show cell is not hard mode. I'll be honest, that was hilarious. Like just one rocket to the how do you activate hard mode? Like it said hard mode was unlocked, right? Are they are there like different tower locations or something like that? Like Alright, that's that's something for another day. <laughs> okay, that's that's something for another day. Alright, they we did it! Tower bosses are all done. All that's left is for me to do the blaze mud. And then uh, I'll be back in another video when I'm ready for the, to take on the blaze mud. But I am super happy that uh, Celine is done. Uh, tower uh, hard boss modes, I'll figure out how to do it. Like, I, I can't I, I'm not sure how to access it. Like, I'm not sure if it's a setting or anything like that. But we are done. Thank you, Gobfins. Dude, I need to get this guy to level fi uh, 5 as well to do more damage. Um, dude, 338 attack. Dude, oh my goodness. With the burger. Yeah, with the mozzarella cheeseburger. Oh my goodness. That, no no wonder. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. I should start, in, I, I should start uh, looking for the attack lotuses to get more attack. Like, like fully invest into attack. Or maybe defense health because I think tanking... Because I was doing okay on attack, it's just that I couldn't sustain myself properly. So I need to, I need to figure out his sustaining. I think, I think once I get enough oil rig and I, I can get uh, the better, the level four plasteel helmets and you know, the level four laser rifle and you know, once we get those kind of things back, I think we'll be sorted. But dude, this boss finally, man, was soup. Like the first time I did it, we got our ass whooped so badly. I thought like you know, uh, this can only be done in multiplayer, but. After a bit of in more investment into more goblins, because before I just had only two, so I got two more, and they kind of like made the difference. All right, thank you everyone for thank you everyone for like tinch for joining us for this tower boss. Uh, I hope hope hopefully I'll be prepped for the blaze mud ruyu raid boss soon, and I'll look into finishing it. Uh, after that, I think we'll be done with pretty much with the end game portion of Palball once again. With the new Sakurajima update, so with that we can close a chapter on it. Uh, we've completed the PAL decks in that case. Yeah, we would have completed the PAL deck uh, with the placement review. So with that, we'll be done. And then, uh, yeah, I, I guess then it's, I guess it's, I guess we just chill and wait until to see what's uh, upcoming for the winter. So thank you everyone for once again. Uh, do like, share, subscribe, and. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next live stream or video then. Till next time, bye-bye.